Welcome, Your Grace, and the Traveler. Would you like three orders of today's welfare meal? Unfortunately, we weren't informed of your visit in advance, so we didn't prepare any super deluxe welfare meals today. I'll pass on the food, then. What about you? Then Paimon will also pass. Paimon will save her stomach for something better. Oh, what a pity. It would seem that none of us can properly appreciate your skills, Walsey. <laughs> then I must beg your grace to find me some more ingredients so I can come up with some more welfare meal recipes. If you're not in the mood to eat, I can get you some drinks. We just got some great shipments in from above. Yes, please? Huh. Paimon didn't know you could get non-welfare stuff at this place. <laughs> it's not for everyone. Think of it as a special treat for VIPs. Oh, now that's what Paimon likes to hear. In that case, two bottles of the drink for Paimon, please. Two bottles coming right up. Our first meeting took place on short notice, and we were both swamped by everything that happened after, so there was no time for more casual chit-chat. I'm actually quite fond of stories, you know. Of course, the others have already told me a lot about your deeds in Fontaine, but I'd love to hear it straight from the source. Oh, that'd be quite the long story. <laughs> That's a bit too humble for you. Even the most unintentional action can catalyze new developments and force many fates onto brand new paths. Uh, Paimon gets the sense that you're trying to flatter us. That guy we talked to earlier was obviously trying to get us to put in a good word for him, but you're the Duke, right? Why would you need to get on our good side? Well, after all, you did help the Fortress and I maintain our autonomy. Is it so strange that I would want to give a few words of praise out of genuine admiration? <laughs> so this is a matter of trust. Which is unfortunate, since I don't have nearly as interesting of a story to offer about myself. I was convicted and sent here at an early age. I only became the top dog after spending a long time figuring out its inner workings. Power and control come in many forms. Some fair and ethical, others less so. And since we're all sinners here, the victor calls the shots, no matter how they manage to get to the top. So, what do you think? Didn't put you much more at ease, now did it? I... Uh, kinda. You're really different from most of the people we've met so far. <laughs> I'm perfectly aware of that too, but even so, that doesn't make me think any less of you. I would very much like to maintain friendly relations with you two. Your Grace, after following your instructions, we were able to find a box of undeclared contraband in the latest shipment of cargo. They were extremely well hidden, and we've confirmed that the senders have been using this method to smuggle goods for a while. We're trying to trace the goods to their source. Got it. Leave the box here and contact me immediately if you make any progress. You're dismissed. Yes, Your Grace. Sorry, I'd almost completely forgotten about this. She mentioned something about contraband. Are they, like, dangerous goods? Not necessarily. The term is just applied to things people want to bring in on the sly. Many people here are experts at pulling rabbits out of the most ordinary hats. So we have to examine everything carefully. Now, what do we have here? Hmm, it's more or less what I expected. Whoa, this is certainly a box of curiosities. Mora, snacks, yarn, balls, ropes, mechanical parts, and even a gem! Wait! If you've confiscated this entire box, then does that mean all of this belongs to you now? Yep. We can't just send them back up now, can we? What? But that's just insane profit! Traveler, why don't you become a duke as well? Paimon will be your vault keeper! 
Jokes aside, I didn't know you'd be so interested in this box. How about this then? You can pick anything you want from it. Consider it a gift from me. Really? You'll let Paima pick anything? No take backs. Paima will have you know that she's got a real good eye for treasure. I never joke about things like this. Alright, Paimon's gonna have a look. Uh, Paimon wants this one. This dark, sparkly gem. You just know it must be worth a ton of Mora. Um, I... Uh, actually, never mind. Paimon doesn't want this gem anymore. Can Paimon pick something else instead? There's something weird about this gem. Paimon remembered a lot of bad things when she picked it up. Paimon couldn't even tune them out. It's as if the gem was just drawing them out of Paimon's brain. It was super spooky. Is that so? Let me give it a try. <laughs> Paimon's right. I too experienced some unpleasant flashbacks. Are you sure? I wouldn't exactly call it fun. Fair enough. Go ahead. I don't think it'll have a permanent effect. I'll take this gem, then, and run a thorough investigation on its properties. Paimon, feel free to pick something else. Then... actually, never mind. Paimon's gonna pass. Paimon was thinking about one of the snacks, but who knows if it'll also make Paimon sick. You do have a point. In that case, we should destroy the entire box and all of its contents. Seems like we're almost done with our drinks, too. Let's go check out the Society's Gathering Place, then. I can introduce you, and we can also continue our conversation while we're at it. Wait, are you this free every day or something? Just noticed? I wasn't exactly busy the first time we met, either. Hmm. <laughs> Should probably always keep a few super deluxe welfare meals in stock. <laughs>